Yes. Let us come back to the last topic of the chapter of uh, alcohols, phenols and ethers. Till now we have been studying symmetrical ethers, unsymmetrical ethers. Now we will be doing aryl ethers. So basically in aryl ethers as I said you have one benzene ring and one an alkyl group. Suppose if we are taking this alkyl group as a CH3, right? O CH3 then this is called anisole. I have seen most of the students when anisole is given to them they get confused not there is nothing to get confused aryl ring with O and R this is here this R can be methyl fine so if you are taking out this oxygen if you are just having CHC then it is called toluene if you have O then it is called anisole right now let us start with the first reaction here when you see anisole basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it has a lone pair of electron because of which this is highly activating it's going to push the electrons electron donating group and further when methyl group is donating electrons to this these electrons are also sent or they are donated to the benzene ring because of this anisole is going to attain a partial double bond character yes now double bond and double bond can't be together so this starts showing resonance and finally we get a site where ortho and para positions are opened up you have an ortho position you have a para position and again an ortho position where your electrophile can come and attack so that means whenever you're finding anisole in the paper you have to just add the electrophile at the ortho and the para position nothing to do simply add it at ortho and para suppose these are all your electrophilic substitution reaction this is called bromination where the electrophile is br this is called Friedel-Crafts alkylation where the al uh, electrophile is methyl group. Friedel-Crafts acylation where the electrophile is acyl group. Nitration where your electrophile is NO2 plus. Simple. Once you find anisole, first thing you have to remember is methyl is electron. Uh, donating group alkyl group second important thing lone pair of electrons those are also donated once they are donated due to resonance ortho and parasites are opened up for the electrophile to come and attack means there are excess electrons observed here so electrophile can go and attack at that particular point so now pick up anisole write anisole in the top one plus Para. So, how to name this? Ortho bromo anisole. This is para bromo anisole. Done? Yes, first one. Let us come back and see. Now, here in uh, Friedel-Crafts uh, alkylation, uh, we are going to add alkyl group, right? This is your chloride and this is your alkyl group which acts as electrophile. Now, pick up anisole. OCH3 ortho plus OCH3 para done let us name this <coughs> so you can uh, start uh, from here so this is 2 methoxy toline I said oh if it is only CH3 toline now this becomes 4 methoxy toline yeah right <clears throat> now in this particular case I have to add the acyl group to anisole you are going to pick up the acyl anisole group anisole and add what should you add you have to start from COCH3 don't add CH3 CO now again you are going to add it at the para position this is OCH3 and para that is COCH3 how to name this just observe <coughs> this is CO group this is O group don't get confused simple this is acetyl chloride right so you can just write ortho acetoxy anisole or 2 acetoxy anisole or 4 acetoxy anisole or <coughs> Acetophenone, that's also no problem, not a problem. Acetophenone, that also 4, 2 acetophenone, 4 acetophenone, not a problem. If I come back to this particular uh, nitration, you can write CH3 ortho plus your OCH3 para. 
Now observe carefully how to write this. Ortho nitro anisole, para nitro anisole. Yes. So let us come back and see. Anisole basically shows only two products. Ortho para, ortho para, ortho para, and ortho para. Everywhere para is a major product. Always para is a major product because of its symmetrical nature. Remember para. One thing you have to remember as soon as you write the products, please try to name them. Yes, please note it.